Back in August 2021, when the IPCC report came out, it hit me quite hard and I just felt compelled to do something. Um, I've, I've always loved the outdoors and adventure energises me. So when I learned that our glaciers in New Zealand were melting seven times faster than they were just two decades ago, uh, it, it was heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. So I thought, why not, why not capture the epic beauty and urgency of our planet's climate in a, in a way that sparks meaningful change? When you're up on the glaciers, it's just an awesome experience and place to be. Um, there's this peaceful serenity, there's a timeless vibe, and then you're reminded that you're just witnessing what remains. When you're on the lake, it's slightly different. There's an airy silence and the occasional cracking of ice as it melts and falls into the growing glacial lake. I'm just blown away with the phenomenal detail and sharpness of the Canon R3 and R-series lenses, um, especially we, when capturing the ice crystals. They're so intricate, and the sharpness and detail of, of the ice when I was up on the, on the glaciers, um, it just, just incredible. So I'm here at the Tasman Lake today to Photograph glaciologist Heather Purdy and her team who are surveying the lake and measuring the changes in the glacier. Ten years ago when I visited the Fox Glacier I walked up the track through the rainforest right to the terminal face and it was right there and last year when I went to the Fox Glacier the same spot I was standing in I was staring for kilometres to where the terminal face is now and it was quite devastating to see that change within such a short amount of time. I set out to, to tell a story and I thought the best way to do this was to actually capture the work of our amazing glaciologists and scientists, who to me I think are our unsung heroes and have been beavering away doing all of this work for the last however many years. So glaciers are just such awesome climate change indicators and, I, and you'll, you'll hear sort of climate scientists and glaciologists talking about that all the time. But they, but they are really amazing climate indicators and particularly these ones that we have in New Zealand, we've got this what we call a maritime climate. So the ice in that glacier is just below zero degrees Celsius, so it's really close to zero degrees Celsius. So we don't have to change temperature very much to actually make it melt. Um, so. It's this really, um, it's really sensitive to change. And so with our measurements, with our monitoring, you know, we're trying to um, help estimate where the glacier is going to end up in, in so many years time, because you know, there's so many, this, this small community really relies on the glacier. There's businesses evolve around the glacier, people coming to see it, to experience it. Um, and it's not just the people involved directly with working on the glacier, but also, you know, all the accommodation and food. And, and so it, it's really, it's just nice to be able to try and um, provide information that helps us understand what's happening and helps us understand the rates of change so that people can try to adapt. What I love about the R3 is the dynamic range. I notice it has great dynamic range and I think the, you know, the 24 megapixel sensor has um, at least one stop, a bigger dynamic range than the R5 does. And my neck and shoulders aren't sore and I don't have the claw because I don't feel like I've had to grip onto this, this heavy camera all day long. Um, and to me that's, that's really important when, when you're shooting the long days at handheld. It's been a journey of heart and lens and I really do hope that what I've captured inspires people to 
see the beauty of what we still have. And whatever change we can make, no matter how small, that it could be a game changer in helping slow down climate change.